time for the bell. How many options will you sell? Fire up your platform, get ready to enter. But first, let's get the mindset centered. Hey, hey, let's go. Uh, we're not here to gamble, we're here to trade. We follow the plan, that's how we get paid. Testing, trading, have success. Find what works for you and forget the rest. Stats and probabilities is what we're about. Time to dismiss greed and doubt. Focus on the process, not the money. And the profits will flow like honey. Power our lives, let's start the show. Come on, trade hackers, get ready to go. Zero day options, time to make bank. Get locked and loaded, then be ready to plank. Hey. What's up, everyone? Welcome to a wacky Wednesday. August 23rd, big move up in Mr. SPX, pulling back a little bit right now, but up 46, a little over 1% higher on the day. NASDAQ, the strongest, up 243, up over 1.5%. Russell, about the same as the S&P, up a little over 1%, plus 19, and the Dow up 150, only up about a half percent. Gold up 1%, silver up 4%. Bonds, big move in bonds up one per one and a half percent. Uh, 10 year yield down 2.7. Oil down one percent, natty gas down two and a half. Grains pushed higher today. Euro and the pound pretty unchanged, and Bitcoin up a few percent. VIX down five percent. VIX futures down three percent. VIX hovering back down around 16. So for power hour, well, we're right in between now. So it could be 44.35, 44.30. We push towards one of the strikes. Could be a straddle. Let's see, power hour squeeze. Five wider straddle. Yeah, so I got that ready. So, yeah, move up is uh, obviously beyond 0.5%. Uh, so, for tranche one, I will be doing a two to one ratio. So we'll see where this thing settles. I have that as a 16 by eight. So I need to buy six more puts. So I got stopped out on the AM ratio, got stopped out on the PM ratio. Rick was a winner. Dick K special was a winner. Pushing up closer to 44.35. So it looks like it could be a straddle. My uh, my three two p.m. trades with a twelve dollar stop, so I got hit. Uh, per my plan, I do a sixteen by eight on the two to one.
All right, looks like the 4435 straddle. Trying to get Phil at 1290. Filled at 1290. Okay. So my um, so I've got a six dollar stop loss fixed at forty percent. I would reduce that stop loss down to three. It's been a while since I did a little ratio for power hour. Now I'm looking at my back test. I use a stop of six. Six dollar fixed stop, 40%. Set stop loss to three. All right, so uh, I got a TGIF that's coming off tomorrow. Obviously, it pushed up. I had put out a uh, little video earlier about a potential adjustment, but I forgot. It, we've only got two days in the front, so I'll be taking that off tomorrow. So unless you're just trying to protect the upside and you want to buy calls or do a vertical or something like that, I, I wouldn't adjust with a calendar spread. Just don't, don't get enough time with taking it off the next day. So I'm just holding looking for a uh, pullback tomorrow would be ideal. Put on a one, two earlier today. Everything else besides the TGF has been awesome for calendars. TG, uh, the BNB I put on earlier is already up 400 ish. Took off a 1 2, a 1 3, a 2 4, a 6 7, all for profit today. Yeah, the euro caught a little bid, so still, that one's still hanging in there. Took off MES short strangle, hit profit target on that. We're getting close on ZS, not quite there. VXX with the vol contractions come in nicely. Not quite to profit target on that one yet, but if we get under 24 in VXX tomorrow, that one should hit. And our first one that we put on 
Let's come back into range. It's up a little bit. It would need to get down below 23, closer to 22 and a half to hit profit target on that one. But, you know, 23 and a half is just back down to uh, the recent lows in VXX that we saw on the 14th. So not too far away. If I mean, if we have another update tomorrow, that'll probably hit. Also got a couple of time flies on, both of which have been adjusted with calendars. Here's my, the one we just put on, just uh, adjusted this earlier today. And my previous one, which in hindsight, wish I would have just taken my 5% instead of trying to hold out for more, pushed up, ended up adding the calendar. Uh, pushed up even more, still slightly profitable, pretty close. Yeah, slightly profitable if I closed it right now. But if we get a down move tomorrow, that'll be in really nice shape. If not, if we if we push, you know, much above the the call strike on that one, and this is the September sixth position I'm talking about. Um, you know, you have a couple choices. One, you could close out the current calendar, which would be profitable by a little bit. And then you could push it out even further, you know, add the, whatever the 40 Delta is at that time, or you could just close the trade. So I'll decide tomorrow what, uh, what I want to do there. Uh, Elegant Scorpio, that is a Octon Raw creation. Uh, give me a second. I can uh, shoot you the links on that. And Otten Ra, you've been uh, very generous with continuing to post that. So if you post it here, I'm gonna I'll go ahead and put that in the uh, course channel to make it a little bit easier for access. I think that's something that anyone with Toss is probably gonna want. So make that a little bit easier for folks to get. Also added a single put calendar in NDX, technically a diagonal, diagonalized the puts by a strike to balance a little bit, but it's pretty close to where we put it on. Pretty still pretty well centered. A little push lower in SPX. My PM trades it uh, was a twelve dollar stop. VIX almost hit 19 a few days ago. Now it's back down to 16.
There you go, Elegant Scorpio. Atan Ra just posted those links. Oh, nice, Ryan P. We're getting a little bounce. Look at that theta come in on that little bounce. Just some serious premium suckage, I think is the official term we call that. Actually, I'm going to, let's see. All right, thank you, Aten Ra. I just posted those in the Zero DTE course, so those will be easy for people to reference, so you can always just send them there, as will I. <laughs> Boom, back in business. I love it. It's never enough, Mauro. It's never enough for you. So high of day was around 44, 43-ish. Currently trading at 44.37. All right, so I got into... My tray, my tranche one at twelve ninety. So once it gets down to seven seventy five, I will reduce my stop from six to three. It's currently trading at about a little over 10 bucks. This ratio, we could really even push up through highs of day and still be good. As long as it settles back in.
All right, about 10 or excuse me, five minutes until tranche number two goes in. So for me, I just do tranche two and three as one to one. I know some some of you all are have a ratio for that on a short squeeze situation as well. NVIDIA earnings play. Okay. Is that was that tonight? Mm. Haven't done any earnings this uh Whoa, Piton down 23%, AMC down 22%, Nicola down 7 On the upside, Restoration Hardware up 7.5%, Shopify up 5 Crypto Stocks having a good day, Netflix up 4%, Spotify up 4 NVIDIA is up three. NVIDIA. Well, I think the... Uh, I'm not going to play it to the downside. I'll, I'll tell you that. Which means it'll probably go down. You guys, if you don't know, my... Uh, Earnings predictions are spectacular. I think last session when we were playing around with little earnings plays, I think I went one for six or something like that. So whatever I do, just do the opposite. That's pretty much a guaranteed winner. Yeah, it looks like expected move for tomorrow is about 44. Expected move for the last couple of days of the week is 47 in NVIDIA. Uh, Eli, the, the term squeeze is just a term that Tim Weiss was using if if the S&P was up half a percent or more from the open from the time we entered power hour. It's it's not truly a short squeeze. It's just kind of a, if it's up big, he, he just, you know, he just used the term squeeze. So it's just if from the open of the day, if SPX is up 0.5% or more, that's the criteria that we're using. All right, I'll come back to uh, NVIDIA here in a minute. I'll buy some longs. Tranche two. Closest to three bucks. Looks like the 44.40, 44.35 maybe. Could end up being the 44.35 straddle. Forty four forty forty four thirty five for trunch two. Trying to get filled at five bucks. Oh, what did I do? Uh, 
That should not be the case. What is going on here? Filled at 480 for tranche two, a minute late. Hmm. That is odd. Should have had plenty of buying power. I'm not sure why that did that. Anyway, um, all right, so I'm in. So now. Forty four thirty five is still the sweet spot, but in good good shape right here. All right, uh, I need to. Drank a little too much water, my friends. I got to take a quick trip to the little boy's room. I'll be right back. All right, much better, much better. All right, so for for tranche one, I'm looking for seven seventy five. Currently trading at 920. So no reduction yet. Need a couple bucks out.
I'll uh I'll look at Nvidia again after I get in tranche three. Tranche three, if we stick around here, it could be at the same strikes, Get some longs for tranche three. All right, looks like uh could be it's a little tweener right now. Let's give it another minute. It looks like the forty thirty five again. Could be the forty thirty. All right, forty thirty five. Oh, geez. I don't know what is going on here.
Todd is got filled at 380. Is anyone else having weird margin issues with toss lately? I mean, I, I should have had plenty of it's rejecting. I had to buy more longs, but anyway, I am in. I wonder if Schwab has something to do with that. Anyway, I will figure that out later. So in for 4440, 4435 for the tranche three. Tranche one and two are still doing good as the price of SPX is kind of flatlined. Yeah, but my longs were only 10, 20, 30, 40, 40. Only 50 points wide. That doesn't make any sense. Anyway, all good. As long as we book a winner here. Tranche one, I'm looking for, <clears throat> wait a minute, where is my OCO on tranche two? What in the world? So I got into tranche two at 480. So my stop should have been 780. It's riding naked there for a minute. All right, so tranche one, I'm looking for 775. It's currently trading at eight bucks. If it gets down to seven seventy five, I'll reduce that down to ten seventy five, three bucks over. Seven ninety. Seven eighty five. Still trading at 790, 785. Haven't seen 775 yet. Still 
So I flash, there we go, 775. So reducing that stop for tranche one. Thirty minutes until the bell. Three bucks. Three bucks over the current price. All right, Nvidia. Let's see. I might do an upside butterfly. Upside butterfly 15 points wide it will cost you a buck oh eight. Let's widen this out a little bit. I do a five fifteen butterfly. So 490, 515, 540. Trying to get filled at 290. This is just a uh, just a little just for a little fun. Just for something to watch after the bell and tomorrow morning. Filled at three bucks. So anywhere above 495, below 535 should be a winner in NVIDIA. Risking three hundred dollars. All right, let's have, let's hope Mr. SPX just kind of stays asleep here. In a real nice spot right now. Just take a little nap for the next 20 minutes.
So tomorrow we've got the old Jackson Hole Symposium. All day, all day Thursday, all day Friday, all day Saturday. Jay Powell speaks tomorrow at 9.05 a.m. Central, so 35 minutes after the market opens. So I won't be trading any. Oh, no, I'm sorry, that's Friday. Thursday is tomorrow. Got a uh, FOMC Harker speaking at 11 a.m. Yeah, so tomorrow I'll, I'll still be kind of trading any normal Thursday trades that set up, but Friday I will not be trading a, my normal a.m. Iron Condor. The Jackson Hole Symposium, where all the great minds of the world get together to talk about the economic conditions of our country. Let's see what Forex Factory always says about it. The Economic Policy Symposium held in Jackson Hole, Wyoming, is attended by central bankers, finance ministers, academics, and financial market participants from around the world. The meetings are closed to the press, but officials usually talk with reporters throughout the day. Comments and speeches from central bankers and other influential officials can create significant market volatility. There you go. Uh, no, Ryan, I, I misspoke at first. Ryan P., I'm, I'll be trading normal Thursday. Friday is when Powell speaks in the morning. Oh, so I won't be doing an AM Iron Condor on Friday. But we will be streaming live for Zero DTE in the morning, both Thursday and Friday, tomorrow and Friday. Yeah, I won't be doing a 1025 Dick K special on Friday either. In fact, the only thing that I would consider would be a uh, a Rick if it sets up. Twenty minutes till the bell.
VIX down under 16. VXX getting closer to our profit target. VXX is currently trading at 24.30. I want to see it under 24. Yeah, my my uh, PM iron condor. I was I was doing the three two ratio. I got stopped out. Good to see you guys are hitting profit targets. Nice. Was everybody on a two to one ratio on those? Nice, nice. SPX hovering around 44.40 ish. Between 44.40 and 44.35 is ideal for me. So I've got the uh, two to one ratio on my tranche one, but one to one on two and three. Are you all doing uh, ratios on all your tranches or just tranche one? Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha.
under 15 minutes. Wuga popping his ratio cherry today. Nice. Is that appropriate? Can you say that? I don't know. Is that politically correct? I don't know what I can say anymore. Forty four thirty eight. That'd be a beautiful number. So year to date. The NASDAQ still up 39.5%. SPX is up 16%. RUT is up 7%. DIA is up 4%. NVIDIA is up 229% year to date. That's insane. VIX is down 30%. Gold is at five and a half. Silver is just into the green, barely. Bonds down 5%. 10-year yield up 12%. Oil, just barely green for the year. Bitcoin, still up 60% year-to-date. Euro, up a couple percent. So Kelvin, I uh, so my profit target remains five to ten percent, but now it's of a of the full package. So you're so you're you know you're adding capital when you add the calendar. You're adding risk. So I want to add you know I want to keep my add some profits too if I if I at all possible. Not sure what you mean by debt paid. No, that risk definitely doesn't go away. It increases. So like here's my SEP6. Here's my original butterfly. You know, I had a max risk of a little over 10,000. Then I added the calendar. Now my max risk is 13,260. 
So now my five to 10% is based on that 13,260. Make sense? All right, 4436, we've got nine minutes till the bell, a few minutes before I bail. Tranche three is trading at a buck 65. I'm gonna put my limit order at a buck 30 for tranche three. Tranche two is trading at a buck sixty. I'm going to put that at a buck thirty as well. Tranche one is trading at four fifty. I'm going to put that at four twenty five. We can get a little bounce here. Should hit those orders. If not, I'll pull the plug here in two minutes. Little bounce. All right, I'm going to go tranche two up to buck eighty five. Tranche three. Buck eighty Tranche one for ninety. Tranche two filled at two bucks. Tranche three filled at a buck eighty five. Tranche three, uh, well, yeah. Tranche three a buck eighty five. Tranche one at five something. I'm out. So nice winner. So what do we do here? So got into uh, tranche one at twelve ninety, out at four ninety. So a nice seven dollar winner there. Eight dollar winner. Tranche two, I got in at 480 out at two bucks, $2.80 winner. 
tranche three and at 380 added a buck 85. Very nice. Needed that one after a couple losers today. Put me in the green. Celebrate good times. Come on. I just gotta I gotta do that since we're on Zoom. I don't have my soundboard in Discord. All right, my friends, good stuff. Uh tomorrow I'll be back. I'll be streaming in the morning and for power hour. So look forward to that. Everybody have a good night. Talk to you soon.